Hey, great, the last digit of the like for each is someone from the chalk playground. So go down right now, click like, click subscribe, click the bell look at the screen pay attention to the last digit of your like and compare these facts. And who are you? Write about it in the comments. It's simple. For example, if you are a marshmallow, then I write marshmallow. Everything is cool, enjoy watching it. And great great, dear friends, you're on the melancholy channel. In this video, we'll talk about new myths from the chalk background. But before the start of the video, as always, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys here for getting into my video and if you want to get into my next video, then you just need to subscribe to the channel, put a like, write your top comment, well, don't forget to subscribe to the cart, a link like always in the description. In general, I fulfill the conditions and get into my next issue. In general, I will not drag out your time and enjoy your viewing. Well, the first myth from the subscriber sounds like this. And what if watermelon, pumpkin and corn and apple and the folds of bowls are animals in the world of chalk playground? So, first of all, I don't understand which tab of the bowl. As I understand it, this is the one that is in the mod editor. But to be honest, I don't understand how it has to do with animals and, in principle, how it has to do with anything at all. It's just a tab for making mods. Maybe I don't understand something, well, let's see. And this is rather, I wouldn't even say not a myth, but some kind of, I don't know, assumption, easter egg. But that's hardly the case, here. And the me tab, there is nothing at all related to pumpkin or watermelon there. We have a Levinky tab. Here here we have these guys here. And, to be honest, I still don't understand how this is connected at all. And the myth, to be honest, is SOSO and it remains a myth. So let's move on to the next, let's say, myth. Well, myth number two. Milan Fong, please check the myth. If you go to the file manager and shake, the files will fall. Damn, does it really work? Let's take a look, because to be honest it sounds. It doesn't sound very grandiose. We go into the files manager and start shaking in every possible way. Food, look, after a while it really drops. What? Is this a joke? I didn't know about it. Write in the comments, I knew, most likely many people already knew about it. Damn, I didn't know, honestly. It's interesting, it's funny, how long I've been playing this game for 5 or 6 months, but I still didn't know about this fax, or a myth. Cool. In general, it's interesting. Well, let's move on to the next myth number 3. Well, the myth number 3 sounds like this. The C4 and the sniper have the same sound when activated. Is this real or what? Well, let's see. So, we take a sniper, freeze it and put SI4 next to it so that it all looks beautiful and we start. We press the active button and we have such a sound. To be honest, it doesn't look like SI4 and turn on 4. Something similar to attention. The SI4 has a more voluminous and long-lasting sound, whereas the sniper's is more muted and flat. In principle, this is logical, because it is still a weapon, or even an explosive device, and therefore the sound is different and, as for me, the SI4 is a little louder, but although I won't argue, they are somewhat similar. Well, the myth number turns out to be 5. If you press the play and settings button at the same time, something strange will happen. And how can I press you at the same time? Well, let's try it. Go to the menu and try to click play and settings at the same time and see what we will have bold. Maybe some easter egg will fall out, I do not know. Let's see. So, go ahead and click. And we just had everything. What? This is me really working. It's like we have a menu on top of another menu, it's real. It's weird. Why didn't the developers fix it, if it can be implemented very simply, even I'm afraid that's how I handled it. Okay, in general, these are the bugs we have charging in this game and you basically as always. In principle, the chalk playground will never change its variety of different bugs. Let's move on to the next myth. Myth, if you drop Milo from a height and tie him sitting to a chair, he will survive. I understand to tie him, not to tie him, well, let's see what happens. So, we climb to a high height, put a chair, put Milo, ask him to sit down and take him from a height and see what we will have with this friend of ours. Because it seems to me that it doesn't work. He should die 100%, because the chair has hitboxes, but it still falls apart. Well, let's see what comes out of it. So, our Mayan is already falling, falling very slowly. Well, let's speed it up. In principle, he is already approaching the lowest height estimate on this map and falls and just breaks it. I basically knew that it wouldn't work, but the myth is like a myth and it didn't work, unfortunately. 
Therefore, this myth remains a myth. It is clearly impossible to survive with a chair. Okay, let's move on to the next myth. Well, the next myth sounds like this. If you put a lot of helmets in space, then Mayan will tear, and if he flies with a parachute, then he will have his head torn off. It sounds really cruel and let's go into space and try to put some helmets on. And to be honest, look, my body is already breaking on the second helmet, by the way, this is really strange. And even the second part, let's say, I don't want to check this myth, because it even sounds a little strange, what do you mean, and how is it, will he blow his head off if he flies with a parachute, yes, damn, but how can I check it, I don't understand, this, this even sounds strange, guys, I do not know what to do with it, we will probably leave this myth in order for it to remain a myth, because I don't see any point in accepting the second part, what happens if I put on a helmet and just parachute, well, how will he tear off his head, yes, he won't throw up in any way, nothing will happen, guys, in general, the myth is strange, but it's funny that he really tears off his head, I don't understand how this is connected, why he can't stand two of these helmets on himself. Let's move on to the next myth, because this myth is pretty boring. Well, the last myth is the longest. In short, if you put a watermelon, not necessarily a watermelon and put a flamethrower in front of it, and put a fire extinguisher behind it and activate them at the same time, then the flamethrower will freeze and the fire extinguisher will become hot, and there will be nothing for the watermelon. Notice, please, I noticed and am checking this myth. In general, look how I came up with the idea to implement this myth. We put a flamethrower and a fire extinguisher in front of each other like this. And look, we'll freeze them and turn them on at the same time. How do I think this should work? The flamethrower gives some temperature to our Milo, the fire extinguisher immediately extinguishes, and then nothing will happen to our Milo. Because I think that our character, or rather our person who wrote this comment, thought it was better to put a fire extinguisher right behind the flamethrower, whereas it seems to me that it is better to put them opposite each other. It seems to me that there will be a better effect. Let's see what happens. And look, guys, he really doesn't burn out and is alive. Let's check it out. We take our piece in order to see our heartbeat. And look, it really works. What? Damn, it's so, first of all it looks cool, it really works. Damn, he's really alive, we've got a new character, as if. In general, here is such an interesting real myth. And if you put each other in front of each other, then in fact the fire extinguisher rests on the flamethrower and our chalk will simply burn down. That's the kind of myth we have that really deserves your attention. And this is where my video comes to an end. You are on Mount Melon Fksam. Thank you for watching, good luck to everyone, so far and I remember my friend, as always, I'll see you one of these days.